guys, oh my gosh, I look like a bum. I just got done with the gym and I forgot to film. It kind of like took an hour to get ready. I don't really know why because I don't even look cute when I go to the gym. I'm really wearing like this and these pants, these sweatpants are like literally too short. I did arms, my arms are so tired. I shot the basketball and I'm so annoyed. I literally told myself I was gonna film, like I was gonna start the vlog and then go to the gym, but I forgot, so. So focused on getting swole that I forgot to even film. I'm not distracted by my phone when I go to the gym, which is good. Anyone like near me wants to be a workout buddy, if you can keep up, you know. No, half the time everyone's in school because I do my college classes. To the gym, we're gonna go home now, get a protein shake. Protein shake, that sounds weird to say. Oh, let's just enjoy this day. This is, oh, I forgot to say, uh, welcome back. This is day six, so let's do this thing. I wish I could show you this person right now. They're like doing this sign, flipping and twirling and stuff, and they look so funny. They have like this weird fox hat on. I look like a crackhead. On this road that I'm filming, you know, not the smartest idea, there's a cop hiding like in this like place over here to like catch people who are speeding. He caught the person right behind me, and I was like, oh my gosh. I knew I wasn't gonna get caught because I saw him pulling into like where he was gonna like hide, you know, and be all like mischievous or whatever you wanna call it, secretive. Saw him and I was like, not today, sir. Like you're not catching me today because I've had it before where I've gotten caught and I cried. Yeah, I did cry. I didn't cry in front of the cop, of course. No, Marley wanted to cry when he wasn't watching so that he couldn't let her off easy, but whatever. I saw him so I slowed down because I was gonna pass the person in front of me too. So lucky, like a miracle, like thank you, Jesus. I was actually so happy because if I got a ticket, my parents would freak out. I would also cry and I would also have to pay for it. So, you gotta look at some of the negative things or the positive things, even the small ones, and look at them with such a good outlook. I was like, not today, Satan. You're not getting me today. I felt really bad for the people behind me, though. I felt really bad. I was like, dang, that could have been me. I can play music and record on my phone. My phone I couldn't record, so I was like, okay, these people aren't understanding that I'm like having a good time in my car other than talking to myself. <laughs> Jake, you know, I'm doing my thing. I come into the kitchen like I, I Just don't understand. He's like Starting to make his breakfast right when I'm trying to film Right when I'm trying to make my food and I'm like you've had all morning moral of that story is I was just getting mad over something so little and stupid because I just get irritated and stress out over some of the littlest things so just don't mind me if I get like that sometimes, okay? I'm sorry. It's just sometimes I don't know. I'm just trying to keep my baby warm to the winter time. I'm just trying to get it something to remember to the summertime. I hate school. <laughs> Christmas party happening this 
you start preaching the same message with Jesus, right. you haven't had a new encounter. Right. See, we can't preach the same message our whole entire life because every season you have a new mess. And at, in every season there's opportunity for your message. Your message is only yours. There's only, there's only your message. No one else has it. Why? Because no one else is you. No one else has gone what you've gone through. Deal with what you deal with and, and, and been who you've been. And God is saying, hey, I have a message.